welcome back to my channel if you have not been here yet. My name is Mariah and I'm the Cookie Dough Health Coach. So what I'm obviously chatting about with you guys today is protein. And is it a waste of money? Is it useful? Is it actually as good as everyone hypes it up to be? So hopefully this will answer any questions that you have about it and give you something to think about. So one of the big reasons that I even bring this up is because I see so many people raving about proteins that are really, really, really toxic, basically, to be completely blunt and honest. Um, proteins, among a lot of other things, just have a lot of chemicals in them that we don't actually know about. And so I highly encourage you, whatever kind of protein you're using right now, because if you're watching this video, I assume you're using some kind of protein, I would literally just go out and Google all the ingredients that are on there, because that is going to give you a decent amount of information. A lot of times what I find is that when you do this, you're gonna find different ingredients that are proven carcinogens, which means they cause cancer, that are proven toxic in the human body, they're proven to cause illnesses, ailments, diseases, and this isn't saying protein is bad, protein is awful, it's just saying be very picky and careful about what you're using and what you're putting in your body, because when you're using these things over and over and over consistently, that is building up toxicity massively in your body. And when all of that blah, 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 when all of that backs up, it starts blocking different parts of our bodies, whether that's energetically, emotionally, physically, and that's really all that any kind of disease and um, illness is. It's just inflammation, which is excess toxin buildup. And so basically what happens is, you know, when you're using these these kinds of proteins that have that stuff in them, the company is really just preying on you to not find out the truth. And so hopefully this video will kind of cue you guys into that. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna name any names about specific proteins that are terrible. Um, you guys can do your own research, but I just want to make sure this is a conversation that's at least being brought up because I had Okay, I'm not positive what happened there. My video just decided to cut off. But basically what I was getting at is that when it comes to protein, make sure that you actually know what's in it and you understand what's in it and how it affects the human body. Because if you don't, companies are preying on you and they're hoping that you just continue to be naive and that you're not looking into the ingredients so that you will continue purchasing their product. So if you're using a protein because it's super cheap, definitely check out the ingredients because usually those are the ones that are using really toxic chemicals. And the reason for that is because a lot of times those toxic chemicals can be used as fillers so that they can maybe fill up a big old bag of protein that's mostly filler and then a little bit of whatever fancy ingredient they put on the label that they say is in it. Um, yeah, so that's just something to really keep in mind and keep an eye out for. So. Another thing that I think is really detrimental about proteins is that so many people use plain proteins as a meal replacement and that is not sustainable. It's not good for your body. It's not good for your health, your mind. It's really, really not good for you at all. And the reason for that is because when you're just having protein and counting that as a meal, mm, flies, <laughs> your body doesn't register that as a meal because it's just protein. So when there aren't other nutrients, other, say, carbs, fats, sugars, something, some other kind of substance in your protein powder, your body's not registering that as a meal. It's saying, okay, cool, you got this part of, you know, maybe this circle right here is like the full circle of what your body would count as a full meal, as a healthy, balanced meal. And maybe when you have that protein, your body's like, okay, you got like, I can't do a third, but you know, you got like a third of it, but I think I'm still starving because I didn't get the other part of all the nutrients that I need. So you maybe don't feel hungry, but your body is sitting over here and all of its functions are just kind of like, oh, we didn't get real food. That's strange. Okay, let me try and process this and put as much energy from this food as I can into this body so that it keeps functioning properly. And hopefully soon we'll get more nutrients. And then when that doesn't happen for days and months, your body starts to be like, okay, I better slow down your metabolism so that we don't burn through all of the nutrients we do get so fast so that this protein can sustain us for a full day or however long you're going without eating a real full meal. And so clearly slowing your metabolism is probably the opposite of what you're trying to do if you are using protein because I find most people who are using protein are trying to either lose weight or gain muscle or both, lose fat, gain muscle or both. 
And when you're doing that, you want to have a high metabolism. So you want to make sure you're actually eating enough food and enough nutrients because there is definitely a thing um, as eating too little. Because when you're eating too little, again, your body freaks out and thinks it's dying, that it is starving, even though it's not. And it's not putting the food that you are eating to its full function. It's just storing it and holding on to it for dear life because it's not sure when the next meal is going to be. Um, one of the proteins that I recommend that I think is the best on the market, truly, and that's not a biased opinion. The only reason I recommend this is because I truly believe it's the best on the market. And that one is the Arbon protein. So these are all completely plant-based. They have multiple flavors and throughout the year they come out with other flavors. But yeah, like I said, these are vegan, completely plant-based. And I will actually just put up a little thing over here of all of the ingredients in there. And I'll read a couple of the big ones that really stand out to me for you guys. So basically this is not your typical vegan protein. I will say that. Um, I had lots of vegan proteins that tasted completely like chalk before I had this one and I was totally expecting that with this so I was very happily surprised. So the reason this one doesn't taste like chalk is because it's actually made from pea, cranberry, and rice protein. What that means is that it also actually has the full amino acid profile because it has those different nutrients in there from those three different plants. Again, completely plant-based. So this is perfect for anybody who is vegan or vegetarian but it also is totally okay for people who aren't vegan or vegetarian and the reason for that is because plant-based protein is just the easiest for a body to digest and break down. So if you are someone who's eating meat, I think it's really smart to go with a plant-based protein because that way when your body's digesting the meat, it's not also digesting whey or casein or anything like that as well, which is just more challenging for your body to break down. It takes more energy for your body to break that down than it does a plant protein. Um, a few other things, this one, obviously the flavor, so it's got cocoa powder in it. Um, yeah, I usually look at like the big package, so I'm like, this is not, I'm like, these ones aren't like big mind-blowing ones that I'm looking over here. So the other ones that I really, really love that this has in there is it does actually have carbs. So by the way, also I'm looking at the US version of this. So Arbonne is in, I think, six different countries right now. So if you're in one of those countries, the ingredients might be slightly different um, and the amounts might be slightly different, but for carbs, this has 15 grams of carbs. Like I said, that's helpful for your body recognizing it as an actual meal and not just plain protein by itself. It has fiber in it, it has healthy sugar in it, and it's less than an apple has. So it's not something that's going to completely throw your body off. And it's organic natural cane sugar, so like it's not fake shit there either. It has 20 grams of protein, so it's still a high amount of protein, which by the way, if you are somebody who's taking like a mass gainer or something watching this, um, your body can only absorb so much protein at one time. So the thing that I find really disappointing about those mass gainers is so many of them have a ridiculous amount of protein in it, but you're just peeing that out. Like your body is not utilizing that because it can only process so much at a time. So if you're curious about that, please look it up because I'm not going to quote like that there's only one specific amount, but it is limited. Your body can't absorb 80 grams of protein all at one time. So if you're doing that, good luck. <laughs> um, try spicing it up a bit or separating those out, that, those 80 grams out into different times throughout the day. This fly really, really likes me today. Um, so it's also got the, also, um, the other thing I really love about this is it has the most bioavailable versions of these. So it does have a little like note on here saying exactly where this comes from, like where each ingredient comes from. So it's got vitamin A, C, D, E, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, vitamin B6, and B12, um, biotin, which, hello, so helpful. Also, like, not even kidding, my nails would not grow for the longest time. I'm trying to see if this will focus here. There we go, that's better. Um, yeah, my nails would not grow for the longest time, and since I've been having the protein consistently and other things from Arbonne that have biotin and B12 and just, like I said, actual nutrients and not just protein and nothing else, protein and sugar and flavors, um, yeah, my hair has gone nuts, my nails have gone crazy, my skin has cleared up so much, so it makes a massive difference. Um, zinc, magnesium, selenium, copper, manganese, potassium, COQ10, which, by the way, is freaking fabulous for your mind health. So if you don't know about COQ10, it's wonderful. Google it. 
it helps with a lot of really incredible just mind health things and it's even been something that's linked to Alzheimer's so something that people who develop Alzheimer's are deficient in so this can help supplement you and boost you up for that too so yeah I hope this has been helpful um, if you have any questions at all about protein or weight loss or fitness or health or I don't know anything in general leave a comment down below if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful for you please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel it really really helps me a lot and I would love to just help you guys and support you guys more in your journey so please say hi down below let me know where you're coming from and what your goals are so that I can make more videos that are going to help you